Next comes merge Excel files. With this task, we can actually merge multiple Excel files into a single Excel file document. Simply click the Add button here to pick the Excel files that you wish to merge. You can select multiples by bandbox selecting them and click OK. So all of these different spreadsheets will all be merged into a single Excel document. Then just simply select the folder where you want to go. As a nice little aside, any of these tasks that, we, that we've created, if you right click on any of them, you can pre-test them. You can also uncheck them if there's any particular task you do not want to run at this time. Next is upload the SharePoint. We can upload any file regardless of whether it's your report to SharePoint. Simply select the particular file that needs to go. Indicate, authenticate to that SharePoint server. And then you can also import the file metadata here as well. Next is the internet section. With internet, we can send an email regardless of whether you're sending a report or not. This is a perfect way to notify someone in case, there's, in case their report's been sent to a particular disk drive or SharePoint. Or say, if you're using an event-based schedule, you can have it send an email notification based on a change in a database or a change in a server or a process. Just like a regular report email, you simply type out similar to the email destination as well you can decide whether it's going to be a text email or an HTML email decide which email server you will send this from if at all and customize the sender details next you can open a web address. Simply type in the web address you'd like to open. And if that web address just so happens to be a file download URL, check that box. And so we'll automatically download that file at that URL instead of opening up in, the, in a web browser. Next is FTP. FTP gives you the ability to upload or download any files regardless of whether it's your report or not. And this can be done via FTP or SFTP. You can upload a file, download a file, delete a file, create an FTP directory, or delete an FTP directory. To show you one of them, simply add the file that you wish to upload, authenticate to it, decide the FTP type, verify, and then click OK. One of the most popular modules is Custom Actions Database. This enables you to perform database integration. You can do everything from updating database records to executing SQL scripts, running stored procedures, creating and deleting tables. You can even suck data out of an existing database and create a small report and deliver it to a particular destination without the need to go through the hefty designing process. 
As an example, let's select update a database record. Simply select the DSN that you'd like to connect to. Click Next. Select the table that needs to be updated. And then select the columns that need to be changed as well. And then here is where you would set the value to. When using this in tandem with an event-based schedule, you can make use of CRD inserts to actually auto-populate this information here instead of using static data. Once you're satisfied with the change, click the down button. And keep doing this for all of the records that need to be updated. Once you're happy with all the records that's going to be updated, click Next. And then from there, you can have it parse out any information that you need. Once you're happy with it, click OK. So the Custom Actions database is a powerful module that you can actually interact with other schedules to further expand the capabilities and usefulness. And finally, Custom Actions Registry. This gives you the ability to set, delete, and create registry keys. Simply identify the registry keys that you would like to change, and then set its value here. I would highly recommend before attempting any of these capabilities, make sure you ensure that you know ex that you are skilled and you know exactly what you're doing with this option as any changes to the registry cannot be easily undone using these features. Excellent. One more thing to know that you can do with custom tasks, you can have in the options section of any of your tasks You'll notice that you have the ability to run it after, before, or during a schedule, or both, or both after and before a schedule. Moreover, you have the option to send the, to perform this task after successful report delivery or after its successful production. These are two different things. The report may have been ran and produced, but not delivered. So. If a task needs to be done between now and its actual delivery, then you would select this option. Excellent. We've now went through all of the custom tasks currently available in CRD. Again, please keep an eye out as new tasks are added regularly. Thank you very much for joining.